Good morning, YouTube fans. This is Dr. Matthew Johnson. It is Tuesday, August 22nd, 2017. It is 7.19 a.m. We're in the Southern Oregon Interaction Area, otherwise known as Soya, where we've spent several nights. And this morning, giving his testimony of spending about six nights in Soya is... Hi, I'm Kevin Jones. I'm a former lieutenant colonel in the United States Army and the Army, Army National Guard. Uh, I was also a uh, security inspector for U.S. Department of Energy on the Hanford Nuclear Reservation for approximately 20 years. And uh, I've just completed, survived, I should say, uh, uh, what is it, uh, seven days and six nights here in Soya, starting out in Soya B and transferring <coughs> over to Soya A when uh, the road opened up. Uh, I want to talk a little, little bit about what I've experienced here. Uh, uh, we are seeing, or I am seeing, the the orbs that Matt has talked about. Uh, uh, I'm seeing flashes in the trees from a certain area, certain area on one night that we were not allowed to go into the uh, uh, the specific area where the flashes are coming from. Whether this is the portal or, or not, I cannot verify because I didn't actually see the portal open and close. But I was allowed to sleep on the hill in that area last night, the night after all of the flashes. And I will get to, get to that uh, later. I'd like to start off with the uh, first bit about my... Uh, I'd like to start off with the, uh, the stay over in Soya B first. Uh, we were forced to go into Soya B because the, uh, they were doing some construction on the road and we couldn't get across where they were putting in a, uh, a culvert. And so we went to a, another site that Matt had that uh, he's been turned on to by his, uh, his guardian. Uh, over there, the activity was fairly light, but we did have the orbs. We did have a bright light that stayed at the foot of my bed approximately 15 to 20 feet away for a good 30 seconds. Uh, I was almost as bright as a flashlight, but if it was a flashlight, it would have been, had to have been a lot further away. Initially, I did think it was uh, about 150 feet away until uh, the next morning when I got up and I was able to uh, walk in that direction and I walked right into brush that would not have allowed a light to be that far away. So it must have been a, a very bright light, a very small light, but very, very close in. Also during that, uh, that time, I've got, I got two other experiences that, uh, that I wasn't quite ready for here. The first one was a almost like an electrical uh, tingling sen sensation, uh, not a shock. Uh, it wasn't uh, uncomfortable. Uh, it was energizing. It was like all of the uh, uh, nerves in my body just lit up at once for several seconds and then it was gone. Um, don't know how to, how to explain it. Uh, not really sure what it was, uh, whether it was a scan or not. I can't be sure. Uh, short time later, actually probably a couple hours later, after I had slept for a while and got up to uh, to do my first bathroom break, I uh, got back in bed, uh, rolled over on my side, had my knees curled up, and I felt like what was a punch by a big fist right in my prostate. Uh, it was hard enough, severe enough to cause some discomfort. Uh, I immediately looked over to make sure Matt was still, <laughs> still in his bed, which he was. Nobody was up at that time. Uh, the effects of it lasted for uh, probably a day and a half. What effects? Uh, the discomfort, the, I call it pain. Uh, it felt like I'd been bruised down there. Uh, the, uh, you know, I was still able to set on it. Uh, I do have a, a problem with my prostate. And one of the things that I was hoping uh, would be addressed up here. Uh, it feels a lot better now than it did on the drive coming up. Is there any improvement on your urine flow at all? Any it, any signs? It comes and goes. Uh, but more max, improvement? Max urine flow. If I'm walking around out here and I stop to do my business, yes, my, my urine flow is is a lot stronger. Improving. A lot improved, uh, you yeah. know, much improved over what it's been for the last several years. Okay. Uh, but when I get up in the middle of the night after laying in bed, waking up, you know, you hold it long enough, the muscle gets tense. At my age, it doesn't relax. Yeah. And when I do try and relax, yeah. the urine flow is very, very weak. Okay. Uh, I have to, you know, sit back down on the cot, wait a minute, get back up, and then uh, 
it's a little bit better. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, that was one aspect of it. We had the lights. Uh, we've had several orbs over at the in the first two days over at Soya B. Uh, some muffled walking around, but uh, my eyes have not allowed me to see, you know, any of the shimmering uh, uh, that map reports. Uh, I don't have the very good night eyesight due to my diabetes. Diabetes settles in my eyes and uh, causes me problems there. Once we moved over here, we continued, or I continued, to get the, uh, the orbs. Uh, continued to ask for, for healing. Uh, Matt has seen, th you know, shimmering beings at my bed doing work on me. Uh, I didn't really uh, feel it, but in the morning, uh, well, at night when I went to bed, uh, my right foot was swollen up enough that I couldn't see daylight between my toes. When I got up in the morning, I could see daylight be between my toes, something I haven't been able to do for probably about three weeks now. Uh, last night, I was allowed to sleep up on the hill, up where the, uh, the Council of Twelve uh, is, and uh, I saw no lights at all. I saw none of the flashing that we'd seen the previous night from down in the clearing, but what I did get all night long was a tingling in my right leg. Uh, it would start off very, very slight. I would have to concentrate on it to make sure it was there, uh, but I could feel it from basically from my crotch all the way down to my ankle. Couldn't feel it in my feet because I have diabetic neuropathy and my, my nerves aren't very good in my feet. Uh, could not feel it in the right foot but it went, it continued until I fell asleep. Uh, I got up about midnight to uh, go to the bathroom. Uh, I was able to go a little bit, immediately got right back in bed. As soon as I got comfortable on my back uh, with my leg up again, the tingling immediately started up high and just proceeded down until my entire leg was, was tingling again. And within just a few minutes, I was asleep. When I woke up about three o'clock to do my second bathroom break, same thing, got back in bed. It started tingling, but what I also got in my, on my right leg was the feeling of bugs crawling on my right leg. And then they started to bite. Uh, I didn't know whether it was a part of a healing, like what I felt as a punch in my prostate, so I laid there and took it as long as I could. But when they started to bite at my ankle, I had to pull my leg up and, and get them off. But I found nothing there. No bugs. No bugs. Okay. Uh, I used my the, the flashlight on my phone to check the uh, the sleeping bag for bugs. There were no bugs in my bed. I immediately uh, laid back down, uh, relaxed, assessed the tingling in the right leg again, and the bugs were already start crawling on the the left leg again. I apologize for interrupting uh, if they were trying to heal my right leg, or excuse me, my left leg, but it got to the point where I could not stand it when they started biting down around the ankles so I had to brush them off again. After that they did not bother my left leg at all. They continued or something continued to, to work on my right leg and uh, this morning I don't have any of the tingling in the feet, the tingling of diabetic neuropathy, uh, the tingling that has been plaguing me for the last two years. It's gone. I still feel the calluses on the bottom of my feet. It feels like I got tape on the bottom of my feet but that was there for years before the tingling started so whether that's going to go away or not I don't know but uh, I've got more strength uh, I can walk up and down these hills better than uh, than I could in the past or than you know just going out around my house and working in my yard I would get tired I come up here I'm at 4,000 feet elevation I'm 3,000 feet above where I live and I've got more energy I've got more wind I was able to carry everything down off the hill last night in one or this morning in one load uh, something is definitely going on up here. Uh, it, it jives with the experiences that I've been having in my research area near Bumping Lake. I will put it out there if anybody wants to go to Bumping Lake. I invite you to go into, the, into that area. I just ask that you be respectful. And don't hunt for them. Camp. Be happy. They will come to you. And I want to thank Matt. I want to thank Zork. I want to thank... Mogdu. Mogdu for uh, uh, being our hosts here and allowing us to come up here. Uh, this has been probably the highlight of, of my squatching. It's like going to graduate school. I thought I had learned a lot at, at Bumping in, 
and with the BFRO out on their expeditions. I thank Matt and the BFRO for giving that to me, for getting me started. I thank the people that I worked with in the bumpy, Scott Taylor, to name just one. He's and a good guy. Yep. He is a damn good guy. Yep. And, uh, and I really thank Matt. You know, Matt is like a uh, college professor at the higher level teaching me now. I feel like I'm in, in graduate school. And Matt, I want to thank you for, for inviting me here. You're welcome. How much did I charge you to come along? Absolutely nothing. He did make me buy my own food. <laughs> That's right. So I have a couple silly questions just for the, the trolls and the haters and the skeptics. <laughs> did I at any time drug you? No. Did I at any time hypnotize you? No. Did I at any time hold a gun to your head making you say things you didn't want to say? No. No? And this is all of your own free will, volitional free will? It is. Okay. Anything you want to add in closing? I don't think so. Okay. Thank you very much, Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Jones, U.S. Army, retired. You're thank one you. awesome dude. And thank you, Doctor. Matthew Johnson. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Love you too, bud. Okay.